I am long overdue for a beard trim, and if you're watching this, you probably are too. I mean, look at us. We look terrible. So this video is really going to be covering the basics of beard trimming. Different techniques, different tools, that sort of thing. So this is really directed towards beard noobs. I mean, my beard's pretty short right now, so we're not getting into anything fancy, but this should help you if you have almost no idea what you're doing. The way I look at beard trimming is that there are three steps. Kind of. Three? Four? I didn't count before I started talking. Hold on. Yeah, that's four. Step one is that you need to figure out what you want your beard to look like when you're done. You gotta have a plan. If you have no plan, it's just gonna be a complete and utter mess. Are you going for a long beard, a short beard, a rounded beard, a more squared off beard? Are you doing the mustache thing that goes I don't know what it's called. Step two is to make sure you have the right tools. Now, personally, I use one of these all-in-one body trimmers. They're great because they come in a kit. They have different attachments. This one's rechargeable. It was like 50 bucks, I think. It's really, really handy. I don't think you need to get any fancier than this. And you don't even really need to get this fancy if you want to keep things simple to start. I mean, you need to use the right tools, but they don't have to be top of the line. So I'm sure some people are going to say you need to get like professional trimmers, all that, but you really don't in my experience. So here are some examples of great tools to use. An electric trimmer, little scissors. If you don't know if you're going to keep your beard and you don't want to spend a bunch of money, just use regular scissors instead of any of this stuff. And then in my personal opinion, there are just some tools that you, you really shouldn't use. Step one, figure out the shape. Step two, get the right tools. Step three is to trim it in the correct order. Now, there's not really like a specific correct order that you have to follow, but you need to find the one that works for you. And I'm gonna show you which one works for me and what I recommend, but you can mix it up, I don't care. And then step four is real important. Now try to follow this part. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're then gonna to wanna to trim your beard and not mess it up. All right, so I forgot about another step, but I'm not gonna re-record all that, it's already done. So we're gonna call this step 1.5, I guess. I think it's between one and two, yeah. Uh, you're going to want to style your beard ahead of time the way that you would normally style your beard. If you normally have a tidy beard, but you wake up and it's all like this, when you go to trim it, you're gonna be cutting off big chunks of beard. And then when you brush it afterwards, there's just gonna be these gaping holes and that's mm -mm. So I use beard oil every day. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. If you use something like, um, like beard balm or something like that, you really don't wanna put that in ahead of time just cause it's gonna gunk up your tools. So. You really want to avoid anything heavier like that. And definitely no mustache wax. Just my mirror. Ah! Sorry, that happens almost every time. All right, now that I'm ready to go, what I like to do is start with the sides first. This is because if I take off a little bit more than I meant to, or a little bit less than I meant to, I can change the bottom slightly to make it less noticeable. If you start with the bottom, it seems like there's less room to work with the sides and you gotta be really precise. Listen, the most important thing when you're trimming your beard is that you wanna go down with the hairs, not up against them. Never, ever up. I swear if you do that, I'm gonna be so mad at you. The reason you go down is because the trimmer will glide across the hairs as it just grabs the ends of them. If you go up, what happens is it will dig in and take out big old chunks. Now, if this is your very first time trimming and shaping your beard, what I recommend you do is just go incredibly slow with it. Go very slow. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna glide it across the hairs that are sticking out mostly. So anything that's sticking out farther than I want it to, I'm just gonna take those off. Now, if you have really shaky hands or you just don't trust yourself with such a powerful weapon, I recommend putting on one of these guards. That way, if you do mess up and you jerk and you take off more than you meant to, you'll never take off more than what's right here. So get a length that you're comfortable with, worst case scenario, and then work with that. It's a little harder to get the hairs when it has the guard on it, but it still works. When I trim my beard and I'm coming down the sides like that, I actually completely avoid the front and center here 
This is because I've learned how my beard grows. This is something you're gonna figure out. Everyone's beard grows very differently. And some beards grow differently depending on the part of the beard. So my sides grow pretty straight and quickly. The front takes forever to grow. And if I cut it too short for some reason in the center right here, I will get this dip, like dead center. And it'll do this weird like wavy thing, which I don't like. So I end with the front of my beard and I do it very carefully and a little bit differently. Now your beard might be the same all over. You just gotta learn how your beard grows. Now once you're comfortable with how much you've trimmed the sides, I like to move on to the bottom next. Don't worry if the sides aren't perfect, they're not exactly the way you want them, you can always come back to it later. If you're doing a more simple beard like I have right now, and you're just trying to keep it short and tidy, what you usually want to do is keep your chin level to the ground, and then you just want to take in the clippers and just do straight lines back. Now I know this is kind of scary the first time you do it, you just want to go slow, once again grab the guard if you need it but it will all be okay if you don't mess up. Just remember that. As you reach the sides of your beard, if you're going for a more rounded look, you're just gonna wanna slightly tilt these as you come to the edge. If you're going for a more square look, obviously you don't wanna do that and you just wanna square it off at the edges. As you start getting more comfortable while you're doing this, you can come up even farther and start coming around the edge carefully like this. You wanna watch that it doesn't dig in though, like we talked about before. You wanna just be nice and gentle with it. If anything, especially in the beginning, you should come around like this. I'm now comfortable enough that I can just come straight back like this because I know it doesn't dig in in my particular hair, but be careful. Another little bonus tip is make sure you have good lighting, especially when you're going underneath here. It can be so hard to see it if you don't have bright enough lights. If anything, you know, grab your phone, turn the flashlight on, put it on the table in front of you or the sink or wherever you're doing this. You're gonna look creepy, but it'll help. Nice and gentle as you go. Don't take off big sections because you don't know what it's gonna look like when you do that. And you don't know that you're gonna be able to blend it with the rest, so just nice and easy. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, you can only do so much when you have a face like this. Also, if you're drinking coffee, remember to uh, move it before you start, unless uh, you need extra fiber in your diet or some. Does hair have fiber? All right, that's where I'm at right now. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty rounded, pretty even. The next step is going to be to get my neckline, my cheeks, and then the sides over here. Now. This might not apply to you. If you're going for more of a like traditional or messier beard look, you don't even have to do any of this. But if you're like me and you wanna make it a little tidier, this is what you do next. I like to start with the neckline first for no particular reason, it's just how I do it. So typically what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to shave everything that's growing on your actual neck and leave everything up under here. The way you do this is if you have tighter skin here like I do, it's pretty easy to just figure out where it starts. If it's a little trickier for you, what you can do is you can find your Adam's apple and go one or two fingers above it like this. And you can see that on me, that basically lines up perfectly with where I have my beard. If you have something like this that you're using, it's usually pretty safe with these to punch straight in and just go down. Just be careful and go slow. If you're using a razor, it's even easier because you can just come up right to the edge. I like to start with getting the top edge first. That way afterwards I can stretch my skin down and get them much closer than I'd normally be able to. You don't really wanna start with stretching first because that moves your skin so much that you can't really tell where the line's supposed to be. The other option is you can just leave this strip here and then hair below it. Did I just create a new beard look? Once it looks pretty good, I do like to pull it down at the end and take a look at it in the mirror. As long as you're pulling it down even on both sides, you should be fine, but this helps me see if there's any little dips that I didn't get properly. And as usual, I missed right over here. Just 
can you can you see? It like dips a little extra. Do I look weird when I do this? As you start to reach the sides, you need to figure out what works for you. I know some people like to square it off over here. I like to go pretty much right up to the edge of my jawbone there. I just think it looks better on me, but it might be different for you. Next, I like to do the cheeks just because it's really easy and straightforward for me. Now, some beards grow all over the place up here. Everyone's beard's different. And you look at someone like Keanu Reeves, first person that came to mind because he's awesome. His hair goes up and then it goes down and then it comes back up. He's decided to leave it like that. Now, some people want to cut it straight across and make a real even line. I pretty much just go with a middle ground. I mean, my beard grows pretty straight on each side anyway. Up here, it dips, it dips up a little bit, but um, I don't go crazy. I do have some random, random hairs up here on my cheeks. I don't know why my body thinks just right here and here is gonna get cold, but uh, I take those off. It really helps with the cheeks if you pull your skin up like this. What that does is when it pulls the skin tight like that, it helps the hairs stare, stare up, they stare up, stand up a little bit. I can speak. And also, and also, uh, you know, just inflating your cheeks with air, that helps. Now you'll notice I'm going up with these instead of like this, going opposite the direction you think. That's just because I found out with these clippers that it will get even shorter, even closer cut if you do it that way. I don't do it down here, but for the cheeks, I like to do that. This is what I'm talking about when I say you just need to get to know your beard and your tools because over time, you're just gonna learn different things. All right, cheeks are good to go. Next step is the sides over here. Now, uh, once again, just like the cheeks, beards grow differently for everyone. Mine kind of go straight down. They flare out a little at the bottom here. Some beards might flare way out, might dip it. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to help. I haven't studied every beard. What I like to do is just square it off a little bit, get rid of these stray hairs that are back here. Uh, I don't do anything fancy. I just do that. All right, all right, all right, and now I'm dizzy. All that's left is the mustache. I like to keep mine shorter because I already have a small mouth and when it grows over my mouth, it looks even smaller. But maybe you have a big mouth and you wanna cover it some, I don't know. You know, earlier I was showing you how to trim the sides with a guard, but normally this is the first time I'll use a guard. And I do that so that I can just trim it all to an even length to start. So I'm using a nine. This time I am going up, but it's just because I know the exact length I want it. So it doesn't matter if it digs in a little bit and I have the guard, so it can't dig in any farther than I want it to. Does this look weird too? It tickles my nose. It makes it itchy. Oh, it's so itchy. Oh, why does it do that? All right, once I've got that to the length I want it, what I do is I just get my lip line. Now you can use these if you wanna be real precise with it and go slower, I do recommend these, they work quite well. Um, especially if you just wanna clean it up every couple of days. I don't typically, I, I clean it up like once so every week or two. So what I do is I use this. I start by combing down my mustache because I just messed it all up when I was trimming it. That's something else. While you're trimming your beard, remember to keep brushing it if you're getting it messy as you go. And then all I do is punch in again, just like before. Now remember to be really careful because these are sharp. And also the skin on your lips is very sensitive. So you definitely don't want to nick that at all. Got that pretty good. Just gonna comb it again. See if anything else pops out. And there are a couple. You'll notice here I'm bracing myself. That's because this is just so precise. It really helps if you do that. All right, I got that pretty straight. Got the cheeks all clean, got the sides clean, got the neckline pretty clean. That's pretty much it. What it really comes down to is just practice. I know how frustrating it can be to hear that, especially in the beginning. But the more you do it, the better you're gonna get. Just try different techniques, try different order if you want to. You don't have to do it the same order I did. 
um, try different looks, different shapes, all that stuff. I've had my beard for like three or four years now, and I've had it this short, and I've had it like probably down to here. Um, I've ha I've gone pointy, I've gone rounded. Just just play with it. It's fun. It's fun. It shouldn't be stressful. This should be fun. The last step. God, I just keep adding steps. This is 4.5. So for step 4.5, first you gotta ask yourself a question. First of all, if you live alone, this doesn't apply to you. If you do live with someone, you need to decide, do you like living with them or do you not like living with them? If you like living with them, you're gonna wanna clean up all the hairs. If you don't like living with them, what you're gonna wanna do is just get little handfuls and just sprinkle them everywhere. Well, that's it. Congratulations on completing my class. Only you know the grade you get though, because it all depends on how well you trim your beard now. If you'd like to know about beard care tips, not trimming tips, you know why? Because we just went over those. If you'd like to know about beard care tips, head over to my website, apebrand.co. Up at the top of the page, you'll see a section called tips, which is our blog. And there is a blog post on there with beard care tips, like I just mentioned. So there you go. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm very insecure and I need recognition from all of you. Thank you, goodbye.